Hi, this is Ryan Baxter again. I'm back again with another video uh, about Bluemix. And this time, I'd like to talk about some code that I open sourced a couple weeks ago. Actually, it's called, it's in the IBM Bluemix GitHub repo called Parrot AR Sample. And this code basically uh, allows you to control uh, a Parrot AR drone uh, via MQTT messages uh, from IBM's IoT Foundation. Um, so it's pretty easy to run. Um, you just uh, uh, run a, a single node file uh, uh, like uh, this from your command line. So if you run node uh, parrot, a, uh, parrot drone controller JS, uh, you'll see it makes a connection to the uh, IBM IoT cloud uh, and subscribes to a couple of topics. Now the topics uh, that it subscribes to allows you to issue commands to uh, the drone allowing you to um, uh, control the drone, basically take off, land, uh, stuff like that. Um, so uh, once I had that working, um, uh, I built a couple of apps that demonstrate the capabilities here. So if we go to Bluemix, uh, we'll see I have a couple of apps deployed here. Uh, the first one is this drone fleet server. It's actually uh, a REST API server. It allows you to issue uh, REST API commands that then issue MQTT commands. Uh, to that node app that's running on my machine. So if I go to drones here, and let's just do a quick uh, take off and land. So uh, here I'll expand these two endpoints here. Got to enter the ID of my drone, which is Ryan's drone. Uh, and we'll enter that up here as well. And if I click try it out, you'll see my drone will take off here and hover, and then I can tell it to land as well. Uh, so you can see I can uh, issue commands then uh, that allow my drone, uh, this is an app running in the cloud on Bluemix that uh, allows it to take off and land. And then I can take that a step further as well. So I built a web interface on top of that. Um, so if I go to uh, dronecontroller.mybluemix.net here and enter the username and password, you see I have a little bit more appealing UI. Uh, I have the ability to select the drone. Uh, so these are all the drones that we have registered in our IoT organization. So I'll select my drone again here. And I get some buttons so I can say, uh, tell my drone to take off again. And then again, I can tell it to land just by clicking these buttons. Uh, and I can even take it one step further than that. I've built a very simple iOS application that does the same thing. Um, now granted, uh, this iOS application is not the prettiest thing I've ever built in my entire life, um, but does demonstrate the point. So if I, here's my phone here. So let me just make it small enough so you can see it all. So this is my phone and uh, if I go to the application that I've built here uh, called Drone Controller and launch that up, again, you'll just see a list of the devices, uh, drones that are registered. I'll select my drone here, and then I can tell it to take off. And again, I can tell it to land. Okay. And then for the final step in this, I took it one step further and uh, I built an Apple Watch app that can do the same thing. So here I will show you my Apple Watch. So this is my watch. Let me focus the camera here so you can see it. So that's my watch. I'm going to go to the application I built here, which is right here. And again, you'll see all the drones listed, again, using the APIs from the IoT uh, uh, network to or IoT uh, foundation to retrieve all the devices you have registered in your organization. And I can select my drone, Ryan's drone, and I'll tell it to take off. And again, I'll tell it to land. And there we go. That's a very quick uh, demonstration of uh, the drone controller uh, and some cool stuff you can do with drones and the IoT Foundation. Thanks.